Hi there folks, Mark here on the Culinary Compass. It's been a long time. I'm here at the Bodhi Path Meditation Center on Martha's Vineyard. I've been trying to meditate and I'm having a really tough time because I can't get these things out of my head. Basically, it's a bunch of kitchen tools that uh, I got from my mom's kitchen. And um, the thing that's problematic for me about these, if you just take a very kind of quick peek, is, um, and it's why I've had a hard time meditating today, is they tend to resemble very violent um, uh, types of objects. I, I, I can imagine some of these things being used in, um, you know, kind of like in, in, in torture scenes uh, in a movie or maybe, maybe not in a movie. Um, and I'm inviting you and reaching out to you to help me figure out, you know, what are these things? Are they in fact kitchen instruments or not? Um, if they are, what are they used for? Um, and that would be really helpful to the Culinary Compass viewers. All right, so let's start off with this little thing. Now, I tend to think this is something, real I thought this was a, you know, you basically press it down, at, you know, when you're doing cookies or something, but then I noticed this lever on the side and the lever goes up and down and what it does is it, it kind of moves this little razor blade in here. So I'm thinking it's related to some kind of a cut coring instrument, um, but I'm, I'm not sure. Now this is a really nice looking tool, a very well made, nice looking handle. You can see there are some ridges on the inside not sure exactly what this is for. At first I was thinking, and by the way, this is kind of a razor blade sharp edge here that I'm putting my finger on, so silly of me, and this is not. So clearly this is the side, and I'm thinking this is for scraping something. Kitchen tool or um, something Quentin Tarantino would want to use in a new film. Okay, um, this one... This is definitely Hannibal Lecter at his best. Now, I have a feeling this is one of these tools that you put on the top of an egg. I've seen this before, I think. And you do that, and it kind of creates this perfectly cracked egg for you. Now, um, I'm thinking Hannibal Lecter. The only reason I'm saying Hannibal is for any of you who enjoyed the famous scene, and you can see these shots from it of him um, dining. Um, this might be a good instrument for him to be able to kind of work the skull cap just right. But anyway, this is, uh, you know, again, very simple tool. This one, as you can see, has a long groove. Since it's from Italy, of course, my very simplistic mind tells me pasta related, but of course not. But maybe. I don't know. So there you have it. Four instruments in today's installment. Well, that's it on the Culinary Compass today. Kitchen and or torture related instruments. You can see why I'm having a hard time meditating. But I'm gonna give it one more go. Ciao for now.